Hey guys, what is up with your hair? Hmm? What? It's fine. What, what, what's this? What is that? Is that how you like put out a professional sort of appearance for the YouTubes? Guys, if you haven't noticed, we're kind of screwing things up down here on Earth. I mean, have you seen the temperatures for the U.S. last year? Hottest on record. Even though the Brits are saying the next few years might be better, there's still no reason to celebrate. Or is there? I say we get the crap off this planet, not a new one. You know, start fresh somewhere, skip the Industrial Revolution, all that pollution that went with it. But where to go? Not much going on in the solar system, unless you like the view in those pictures Curiosity sent back. Lack of air might be a robot, though. What Dan is so ineloquently trying to convey is we need off this rock now and on to something not as global warming. How about a brand new solar system? We already know of a couple already, or you would if you watched our show. But thanks to the guys and gals over at planethunter.org, we have a shiny new candidate for human colonization. The planet in question is PH2b, which stands for Planet Hunter 2b. A uh, Jupiter-sized beast orbiting a star a bit like our own. The best thing about the place is the temperature. Only about 30 degrees Celsius at the hottest and minus 88 degrees at the lowest. Okay, that's a bit of a stumbling block. Maybe a bit of global warming might be in order. Since this planet is sitting in the Goldilocks zone, any moons orbiting it could also be good to go as well. You know, could be like Endor. Maybe there'll be Ewoks. The discovery of this planet and the 41 others since the site has been running has been a joint effort with over 40 people contributing to the find. Using data from the Kepler Space Telescope, the volunteers sift through the data looking for dimness in the stars at regular intervals, as well as slight wobbles in the star's rotation. Because if you know anything about how stars work, you should know they wobble a bit from the gravity of their planets. The number of viable worlds the planet hunters have found has actually surprised quite a few people and raises hopes of there being life out there. We just have to figure out some way of actually getting there. You know, we can count all the planets we'd like, but if we can't reach them, we're still stuck on this ever-heating hunk of rock. Maybe NASA will figure something out. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> we're screwed. So we'd like to know, do you think we're screwed? Do you think we're never going to figure out a way to get off this planet before we wreck it and, you know, die off as a species? Kind of sucks, but it's something, something we got to put in perspective. Let us know in the comments down below. And if you somehow like this depressing news that we brought you today, you know, yeah, it is depressing. Click that like and subscribe button, and we will see you soon.